this video I'm going to show you another cool feature of how you can use um, AI, uh, this particular Neurovis AI. This is the company that uh, I co-founded and uh, it's specifically made for commercial product photographers and uh, e-commerce sellers uh, to uh, adjust, generate, uh, modify images uh, either that you sell online or uh, if you are a photographer uh, for your, let's say, portfolio. I am not saying that it's going to rep replace you. Uh, but it may help a lot in, in learning photography as well. I do lots of reviews and critique for uh, students of 4G School of Photography. And in many cases, AI helps me to show them how it should be done the, on the existing image. So for this, I'm going to use AI, AI Retoucher Studio. Uh, this one, first application here, and uh, let's upload image that recently uh, I just uh, seen it and I got it from our Facebook group. Um, the image like this, or then we'll process image like this, for example, that in this case, let's try uh, this one. In this case, it's nice image. However, it could be, it could look way better if uh, it would be a spot on the background. So just dark background like this is okay, but usually if you have some nice spot on the background, it looks way better. And but once you've done it, I mean there is no way to you know to modify it unless you do lots of Photoshop work. But imagine that you're shooting in this in the studio, and then before you disassemble setup, lighting setup, before you touch the camera, you can run the result without any retouching, without anything. Just run through AI and um, test some ideas before you uh, continue. For example, before you start changing your lighting setup, uh, because color-wise, well, there are many uh, cases when it may work or it may not work. So let's get this one. We have this image, and like I said, it will look better with the background. I mean, the, the spot on the background. Okay, it could be either linear gradient or it could be just a circular spot. You know, from like a honeycomb grid or you know, optical snoot or something like that. So. Let's uh, put, without instructions, this, it will just um, retouch the image, just will make it look better. But this is already a good one, right? It's, it's, it's kind of, it's okay. I'm talking about background. So let's have it first, let's run it with a linear background. So I would put linear uh, gradient lighting on a background, okay? Linear, linear uh, gradient on the background and it's important professional advertising studio photography okay so it will know that I want to have linear gradient uh, lighting light let's do just light uh, on a background and just process that's it it will take about 40 seconds Okay, so we do have, well, it didn't really make a uh, linear gradient. Looks like he doesn't like it. Um, let's have a spot. So instead of this, let's have spot. Uh, I'll put uh, spot, soft, soft, bright, no, bright, bright, soft, uh, bright, soft, spot, light on a... Uh, what kind of background could be uh, cool here? Either yellow or uh, green. Let's have green on a green background. Okay, bright soft spotlight on a green background. And run it. Keep in mind that this uh, particular uh, application, this uh, retoucher, it does change the whole image. Basically, it's retouch everything. It's super cool for jewelry, well, for all kind of things. It can clean it. However, it may change uh, small details. If you have a little text on the image, it may change it as well. Just keep it in mind. If you want um, your subject without any changes, you need to use professional photography category uh, for our applications. Uh, all the generations, and again, look at the previous video, I, I showed you how to process your image with um, one of the applications that is under professional photography. It's not going to change anything on the subject. It will just generate a background, it will change uh, the reflex, you know, the little edge of your subject uh, to fit it inside the uh, generated background. And it looks super cool. So check the video and see uh, the result. This one is 
destructive thing. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. You see the, uh, the same thing here, but background is different, and I think it looked better. If you download PNG, let's check it. Uh, this is actually the previous one. So this is how it looked like. This background works better for uh, for our glass, right? Because uh, glass is glowing and should be a reason for this. So be, be, uh, light is be behind, it's cool. You can check different colors there, right? You, you can do whatever you want in one click. And after that, you can go and uh, basically do this in real life if you didn't uh, change your lighting setup. So this is why uh, it's cool for photographers. Now let's uh, replace the image. Uh, I have this one, okay? This is the image uh, from one of uh, our students as well. Uh, when I was reviewing it, I, I was saying be, uh, beside that uh, it's uh, the subject is slightly tilted to the right. The background, this white background, doesn't look good uh, for, for this shot. Ideal, it should be, again, spot on the uh, background. It will look better. So let's change it, bright, soft spot on a blue blue background okay professional advertising studio photography professional advertising photography let's do like this and that's it okay here we go let's download and review it i'm going to download this png file and uh, let's open and see how it look like Okay, it's here for some reason. So here we go. First, it made the bottle straight, right? It's I think it's even moved it a little bit. But look at this. This background definitely looked better for this shot. And it's actually cleaned the splash. So why not to use it um, before you disassemble your lighting setup? Go uh, get it. I mean, go um, change the light for the background and shoot it. You can sh try red, for example. Blue, red, green will work really nice here, right? So uh, the same way I will show you the same way I did it for this image. Uh, one second, oh, something is going on. So I have the image that it was again uh, the review from the photographer. So this is the image, right? Nice shot, but again, background is dark and it's not as good as it could be if it would be uh, done through the with the spot. But before you do the spot, uh, you can always go and let me see, maybe I have downloaded it and run it through our app. Here we go, same thing with the spot. Again, keep in mind, it's destructive uh, process, so it did change the uh, label a little bit. And, uh, well, it may not look good, so you need to uh, do a Photoshop. If you run it through non-destructive process, it will look like this. The label, everything is exactly the same, uh, but in this case, it clip out only, I mean, the removed background, um, and uh, it was only subject left, so they took away the, the box. But uh, this one looks super cool. Again, you can use it uh, for, or like this, for example, it's super nice, except the strange bottle, so it should be regenerated. Uh, these two, the last two, uh, was run through uh, this, okay, smart photo generator. On this one, if you upload high resolution image, you will have high resolution, you will have upscale, uh, non-destructive, very good quality upscales that you can use. You can use it in for your portfolio. And even more important, you will have the PSD file download, okay? I'll show you. So, uh, PSD file, let's see if I have it here. Yeah, download PSD. PSD file look like this. Let's open it, and uh, I'll show you what's inside of that PSD file. This is specifically made for photographers, no other AI uh, d uh, does have this functionality. So, it's image of your subject clipped out of the background, so just subject, then uh, mask, of course, then the image that it was generated uh, stuff around it, but it's not as uh, perfect as the uh, subject, it's kind of intermediate image. Then another layer is uh, image, um, well, we, we have some interesting process under the hood, but uh, this is kind of reference image for this one. Why it's needed? 
sometimes you have uh, well in this case bottle doesn't look like uh, our bottle so it may not need it but sometimes that bottle look really nice but it's different one but what you can do uh, in photoshop you can make it um, uh, kind of blend the layers blend this layer uh, for example reduce transparency to make it look uh, to, to grab some features like lighting or something from the uh, layer below you understand it, right you just um, uh, create a mask right on this and uh, uh, you can uh, i guess invert it invert this mask and draw it uh, to make uh, slightly visible i'm not going to do it right now if you know photoshop you know it if not uh, let me know in comments so i'll show you how to you know uh, play with this photoshop file to get uh, the best possible results uh, kind of retouch image without doing any additional, uh, you know, grabbing the image from AI, putting on top your original image and, you know, do all this stuff. Everything here is aligned, so it will be super easy for you uh, to do so. Ready? Uh, plus upscale. Upscale, it's, uh, it's a really, really, really good one. Uh, here, nobody doing this upscale. It, you'll get more than 3000 pixels on a larger site. We can do even more, but not sure if you need it. Again, I would love to hear your opinion about this. Already, uh, subscribe to the channel. Every Thursday, 1 p.m. Pacific time, I'm completely free to do a webinar, online webinar of, um, well, first of all, I review images uh, from uh, 40G students. Plus, I every time I run it uh, through AI, and um, it may be useful for you to see how uh, it's um, being made, you know, how you can use AI. Plus, every Tuesday, I run a webinar specifically for NeuroViz subscribers, where I explain uh, each application uh, some, in some uh, real-life scenarios. Already? So, it was about AI Retoucher Studio, this video. See you on the next one. Bye.